we want to find the smallest four positive radian solutions to five sine of pi divided by three x equals one. So our goal here is to find the four smallest values of x that satisfy this equation. This equation may look challenging because we have the sine of pi over three times x. So what we'll do here is perform a substitution. We'll let theta equal pi over three times x, which will give us the equation five sine theta equals one. So we'll solve this equation for theta and then come back and solve for x. Notice if we solve this equation for x by multiplying by the reciprocal of pi over three, of course on both sides, notice that x is equal to three divided by pi times theta. So to solve this for theta, we'll divide both sides by five. So we have sine theta equals one-fifth. We should recognize that having a sine function value of one-fifth is not a value that we'll find on the unit circle or using reference triangles. So we'll have to use the calculator to help us solve this equation. But also since sine theta equals y divided by r and the sine function value is positive, we should recognize that y has to be positive and therefore our solutions must be in the first or second quadrants where y is positive and therefore the sine function value would be positive. Next, since sine theta equals one-fifth, that means theta would be equal to arc sine or inverse sine of one-fifth. So now we'll go to the calculator to help us find our first solution. It's important to make sure that we are in radian mode. So I'll press the mode key. Notice how we are in radian mode. So we'll go back to the home screen, press second sine one-fifth, close parenthesis, enter. Because we're asked to round x to three decimal places, and this is actually theta, we're going to round theta to four decimal places to hopefully, to avoid any rounding errors when finding x. So we'll have theta equals 0 0.2014. So we'll call this theta sub one. Now let's go ahead and sketch this angle in the first quadrant. Let's say this is the terminal side and this is the angle 0 0.2014 radians. Well, because sine is also positive in the second quadrant, if we sketch a reference angle of 0 0.2014 in the second quadrant, we can also determine a second solution. So again, if this reference angle is 0 0.2014, this angle that terminates in the second quadrant would also have the same sine function value. So this first angle was determined on the calculator. And then to determine this angle, we could take pi radians, or half a rotation, and subtract the reference angle to determine this angle in the second quadrant. So let's go ahead and do that we would have pi radians minus 0 0.2014. So we'll call this theta sub two. It'll be approximately 2.9402. Because we're looking for the four smallest positive radian solutions, we need to find two more solutions here which means the next two solutions would be coterminal with these two angles. So for theta sub three, we would have two pi plus 0 0.2014, which will be approximately 6.4846, And then theta sub four would be coterminal with this angle here. So we would have two pi plus 2.9402 radians. Which is approximately 9.2234.
But we're not done now. Remember, our goal is to solve for x, not theta, where x is equal to three divided by pi times theta. So we'll have to take these values here and then multiply by pi over three. And we'll do that on the next slide. So our initial substitution was theta equals pi divided by three times x. If we solve this equation for x, we have x equals three divided by pi times theta. So these are the values that we found for theta. So we'll multiply each of these by pi divided by three to find the approximate values of x for the original trig equation. So let's go ahead and do that. And the directions do say around to three decimal places. So x sub one is approximately 0 0.192 radians. And now for x sub two, I'll just press second enter and then I can change this factor here. 2.9402. So x sub two is approximately 2.808. And then for x sub three, six point four eight four six. So we have approximately six point one nine two. And then finally we have three over pi times nine point two two three four. So x sub four is approximately 8.808. Okay, I hope you found this explanation helpful.